welcome back to another vlog. It is a rainy Sunday. We are just walking to this place that I see often when I walk around town. I think it's a Japanese place that does fluffy pancakes. And every time I walk past it, it smells amazing and it looks insane. So we're gonna go try it out, finally. I'm so excited. I thought I'd share with you guys because I know you guys are interested to see like what I get up to in Manchester and like the spots that we find. So hopefully this will be one that we end up loving. Try them both. Are you good, sir? No, we. You gotta try them both. Right, we'll do a taste test. What's this? A strawberry. Strawberry soda. Yuzu soda. It's quite nice. Is it good? Yeah. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like that one. I like it. It's not as tangy as I thought it would be, though. But I do like it. It's nice. The pancakes have arrived and you're not ready. You are not ready. Look at these. We got Nutella banana. Look at how fluffy. That is insane. Cheers. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, they're so fluffy! That's so good. <laughs> the thing is, right, I could eat all of this. Obviously, with desserts, I can't because it's so like rich. Like, it, I'm, I can't even speak. Like, it's always too sickly for me. But these are so like light. Yeah. That was amazing. Morning guys, it is. You ready to go? Good morning guys and girls. Probably looking a little different. The hair's curly today. I have slept on it though, so my curls are not looking as good as they did yesterday. How are we? I've just finished up doing a few bits and bobs that I needed to do, my IPL. I pretty much got the flat all to myself today as my boyfriend has gone to get a new tattoo and I think he's gonna be gone for most of the day. So I'm gonna be trying to take advantage of that as much as I can today by getting a load of content created for the week and then that way I don't have to stress about it. I'll just have stuff ready to upload throughout the week and then I can focus on some other stuff. Why is the battery gonna die again? I've just changed it. I am so confused right now. Sorry guys, just give me one second. I'm trying to do my makeup as quickly as possible whilst also still slaying. Yeah, I haven't got any content to post for today, so I need to get one shot and edited and uploaded, hopefully by midday. No, is this pen drying out already? Right, wait, let me just do my eyebrow because I cannot talk and do my eyebrows at the same time. 
this is not going so well today. Speaking of eyebrows, I'm considering getting the very end, like the tail of my microblading lasered off. Just because I wear my eyebrows in a different shape now, I like to be able to have versatility and like changing up the shape of my eyebrow depending on my makeup, etc, etc. And where I've shaved the tail off, when I don't have makeup on them, it just looks like a weird little shadow rather than like an actual eyebrow. So I think I want to just get rid of it. I'll keep you guys updated on that journey. But yeah, today is going to be a day of hopefully creating a bit of content. I've also got a gym session scheduled for today that I do not want to miss. What day are we? Is it Thursday already? God, the week's gone so quickly. I've been trying to like give myself more of a schedule and the weekend's off. So we've got some bits to get done today if I want to have the weekend to relax. Those eyebrows are so uneven. I ain't got time to faff around. I'm on a tight schedule. Quick question. Has any of you guys seen The Last of Us? Because that series took it out of me, you guys. If you have not seen it, I'm going to say now it's like a kind of apocalyptic vibe. A little bit different though. There was a few episodes where I was literally bawling my eyes out. It had me in the trenches, you guys. Literally everything about that series is perfect. It's just so so well done so well casted so well directed like the storyline's amazing like even the slower parts that are usually boring there was not one part of that series where i was like okay this bit's like a little bit boring or i can like you know i can just get my phone out i'll concentrate on doing something else i was fully locked in the whole time i just wanted to give you guys a heads up if you haven't seen it yet i don't think there's gonna be a season two until like maybe 2024 potentially even later from what i've read online which is so depressing like i don't know how to feel i don't know how to act i don't know what to do with myself but what i do know is like the wait will be worth it because damn that show is insane another one actually that we watched recently was from that was pretty good too still waiting on a season two for that as well i think it's been released in america but there's nowhere for me to watch it right now which i'm kind of salty about we are currently re-watching all of the harry potters <laughs> and it's so funny watching it back now how differently you like perceive the movies we're about to watch the sixth one so we haven't got very many left so yeah if you guys have any recommendations please let me know. I feel like you guys know the kind of stuff that I like, like we're so similar. Potentially something that's got quite a few seasons out already, that would be cool. Cause this whole like watching one season and then not being able to know what happened for like two years. It's not for me babes, it's not for me. I am gonna get this makeup finished up as quickly as possible so I can shoot. I wanna do a get dressed with me. I really wanna do that hair theory video. Like I think it's really fun and it's so, crazy like how much different hairstyles completely change and um, the way you can be perceived i think that's insane when you see it like one hairstyle after the other crazy i think with my hair as well because it's like naturally curly it's such a range of different styles that i can do with my hair i think it'll be really fun what else did i want to do today it's all written down on my thing if i don't write this down on my planner i'll completely forget also getting a digital planner for your ipad absolute game changer <laughs> could never go back i also need to go out and do some returns i really kind of don't want to do it but i'm going to do it because it needs to be done and i'll have to try at the same time to not have a look around the shops because i know what i'm like and i do not need to be buying things to be fair though i've been really good my main priority right now is trying to secure the dream flat that's all i care about if we do secure the flat for sure for sure then i know that all my money is going to be spent on getting that flat to be amazing even more amazing than it already is right i'm going to go finish this off i can't concentrate on two things at once it is live just on time. My obsession with Chronics has returned. High vibrational music only, please. Like, I cannot get enough of Chronics at the moment. I've known, like, a couple of songs, but I really fell in love with Chronics over lockdown. That moment has just come back around. I'm I'm obsessed. If you have not heard of Chronics, you don't listen to Chronics, go listen to Eternal Light, because that's a song that everybody loves. Like, nobody can say they don't like that song. He's just vibes, man. I'm going to take some time now to just reply to any comments that come through. Um, my Instagram, by the way, if you don't follow me, is in the description box down below, so check it out. If you want to see my outfit, I'm obsessed with this outfit, especially the bottom half. Are two new pieces that I, well, they're not that new, but I 
I just haven't had the chance to really wear them properly yet. I'm obsessed and I think you guys will be too. That's another thing I can check off my list. But I'm such a nerd. I love this iPad. I knew there was a reason I bought this. <laughs> Other than to watch true crime whilst I work. Get dressed with me is done. I need to film the hair theory shot and maybe do another hairstyle. It's going well, guys. It's actually going pretty well today. Love that for me. I am off to the gym. I thought I'd share my outfit. I always get questions on my leggings. They are the Alphalete Amplify leggings. These and the Honor Active. What are they called? I can't remember. I'll put a link down below to the two pairs, but these and the Honor Active leggings are my favorite leggings of all time. They just feel incredible. The quality's insane and they make your body look amazing as well. For a sports bra, I've got the Gymshark Minimal Sports Bra. I find that I can't wear anything else than this sports bra now. I don't know what it is. I just love the fit. It's super flattering. Obviously, it's tiny, but I don't have much to cover up or support anyway. They're just beautiful bras. They fit really nicely. I feel really comfortable and confident in them. They are so cute at the back as well, and you can actually remove these straps so the back is just open and it's like a halter neck and then my trainers are the what are they called nike air zoom something i don't know i got them from size i just really like the car key i'm not going to film my workout today it's a full body session i just want to get it done because i've still got some other bits i want to do but i will have a little chat with you guys afterwards about some of my fitness goals for this year because there's a few things that i want to kind of accomplish this year yeah we'll have a chat about that once i'm back <laughs> This dog molts like there is no tomorrow at the moment. There is not a day where I don't need to fully hoover the whole living room floor. Like, I don't even know if you can tell on camera, but that floor was nuts. I literally hoovered, if not yesterday, it was the day before. Good gym session. I struggled a little bit today, feeling a little bit weak. Um, so I'm just gonna have a little, oh, it feels so good. I need to stretch. I've been neglecting my stretching a lot. So I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching. It has been one of my goals for a while and I keep like falling off, but I wanna get back into my front splits. I used to be so flexible when I was younger and I'm not far from it, especially on my left side, but I really wanna get back into my front splits and just improve my flexibility, especially as I get older, like my mobility as well, cause my joints be clicking. I get hip pain, like knee pain. So I really want to get on top of that. And also it's just fun, isn't it? It feels good to like, I don't know, have that power over your body and have that control in your body and that kind of fluidity. I also have decided, and you guys know I don't really enjoy running. I really want to start running because I know the mental benefits of it. And also like physically, I know that it's really good for like my cardiovascular health. And I'm doing a lot of sprinting at the end of my sessions at the moment. And I always feel like as hard as it is, I always feel amazing afterwards so I think it would be really good to incorporate some running into my fitness routines I also really just want to challenge myself and like see what I can push my body to do and I've been watching a lot of influencers particularly youtubers this morning I was watching Connor I'll leave her channel link down below she's amazing she's such a little queen I've also been watching Holly B fitness yeah I've been following her journey and I just found it really really inspiring so yeah I just really want to challenge myself and yeah try and get into running a little bit more if I can find the time I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I'm just the worst but i really really want to make that a part of my routine even if it's just for a little bit i think it'll be really fun oh this feels so good another goal of mine is to get 10 pull-ups i'm not sure if i was fresh how many i'd be able to get but at the moment like after a full workout i can get about six but i really want to try and get 10 and preferably if i could 10 pull-ups at the end of a workout when i'm tired that would be sick so that's another goal I'm working towards. And I wanna do some other stuff that isn't just lifting. I wanna get back into climbing, but it's really difficult because I've got goals with lifting at the moment. I'm usually like exhausted or quite sore on the days that I've got rest days scheduled. It's kind of difficult to sometimes fit bouldering into that just because it is such a full body exhausting workout. Like it's so much fun, but you don't realize how knackering it is until you get back or the next day. I guess I could just do like shorter sessions, but I really really enjoy bouldering climbing and I proper want to get back into it it's just finding that time to do that as well as like work and everything else also want to get really good at handstands I can do headstands perfectly well I'll show you guys now watch me like flop because I'm trying to show off Anyway, yeah, my headstands 
a good, I really want to get good at like proper handstands now as well. That's another thing I used to be amazing at when I was younger. Like I could just stay in a handstand forever and walk on my hands and do all of this stuff. And I just think it's amazing what our bodies can do and I really just want to challenge myself to be able to do all of that stuff again. So it's just a matter of figuring out how I'm going to do that and how I'm going to fit it all like into my routines, regimes. Um, but we'll get there. If you guys have any tips, let me know. Oh my god. I'm so tight everywhere right now. I can't go further than this. That's embarrassing. I got a new yoga mat by the way. I will link it down below. I hope you guys can see how much hair is coming off this dog right now. But, oh my god. Look at this. That is literally from me just rubbing him now. The whole rest of the floor is clean. No, don't eat it. That is insanity. Look who's back from his tattoo equipment. Basically, I've ordered a water bottle from this brand that looks really cool. If you guys are like me and you're obsessed with stationery, then you're probably also obsessed with water bottles. So this is for you guys. No way, I love it. Okay. <laughs> it's by the brand Frank and Green. It's a ceramic reusable bottle. I've got the one litre. They do a two litre as well and a 500 milliliter, I think. Or for the Americans, this is a 34 ounce. And you can customise the top and the bottom to the colours that you want. It's got a little push straw at the top right there to make it easy to drink from. But I just feel like having these kind of things make it easier for me to remember to drink water. Like, I'm really weird. Like, I cannot drink plain water unless it's out of this cup. I don't know what it is. I know it's really weird. That's such a weird thing, but I literally, like, it's like it tastes different and I'm just like, absolutely not. So I needed another one because I can't just keep drinking out of this all the time. I need to wash it sometimes, you know what I mean? I'll leave a link down below anyway, but so cute. Guys, the actual state of me right now, you wouldn't even want to see this up close and personal. Like, this is disgraceful. I've run myself a bath. Went to Boots the other day and just topped up on my Dr. Teal's bath salts because I recently discovered these ones and they are insane. And I tried this for the first time today. I literally used the smallest amount and look how bubbly the bath is. I've let this sit for a while because it's been cooling down because I always run my bath a bit too hot. So good. I'm so excited to get in and it smells incredible. I've made myself a little setup. I've got <laughs> cheese crackers and grapes, water, my iPad. Uh, That was bloody lovely. <laughs> Hair is co-washed, I didn't wash it, co-washed it. I'm gonna slick it back. We're going to the cinema tonight. So we're going to the Everyman, which one of my favorite cinemas for sure. Let me just prop you down somewhere. Not the greatest angle, but it will do. So yeah, we're going to the Everyman. I don't even know what we're gonna watch. I think we both just need to get out of the house and we haven't been to the cinema in a while. There hasn't really been much that we've been interested to watch though. I'm gonna do my evening skincare routine, which if you are interested, you can check out my Instagram. I did a reel all about it and the things I use. But I tend to like to do this in the evenings before going out if we're just going to like the cinema or something. I'll just do my evening skincare and like wear something cozy. So I just feel comfy and like, fresh and clean and then when we get back I can just go straight to bed if I want. Do you guys have any like cinema rituals that you like to do? I'm always really interested to see like the little things that people like to do differently. Like I love watching how people cook as well. Little things that make people who they are. I find it so interesting. Wait, this is all new, isn't it? Or is it? So it's a few days later and I realized I did not update you on the movie. I was filming on my phone, but my phone keeps doing this really weird thing where like, I'll try and open an app and the screen will be blank. So I couldn't get much footage. The film was really good. We went to see Evil Dead Rise. Is that what it's called? It's like an old horror movie that they've like remade. It's not really scary, but it's like super gory and it was really, really well done. Like the special effects makeup was insane. The woman who played the mum, she played that part 
so so well like it was creepy um and like gross and very gory but it wasn't necessarily like scary in like a psychological way or anything i thought it was really good there's a few jump scares in it like i said it's not necessarily like something that will keep you up at night but it's super gory and like really really well done so if you appreciate that kind of stuff then i'm sure you'll enjoy it but yeah today we we didn't really have anything planned i am so ridiculously sore from the gym it's a joke like i'm literally waddling around like a penguin since yesterday so i'm taking it easy today i think once my boyfriend gets back from his driving lesson we're gonna go try out a new like pie place we usually go to what's it called pie minster i think they've got them in london as well which is pretty good i i really like the pies because they do they have really good vegan options but i don't love the mash as much and i'm kind of disappointed that there's no chips like they just don't do chips as an option so we're gonna try out this new place see what it's saying and i will let you guys know of course as always 